हॅलो एव्हरीवन वेलकम बॅक टू इ लर्निंग प्लॅटफॉर्म बाय सायन्स पार्क सावित्रीबाई फुले पुणे युनिव्हर्सिटी दिस इज द फर्स्ट पार्ट ऑफ द टॉपिक ऑफ कॉन्स्टिट्युएंट्स ऑफ फूड टुडेज सब टॉपिक इज मायक्रोन्युट्रियंट्स इन विच वी विल लर्न अबाउट कार्बोहायड्रेट्स फॅट्स अँड प्रोटीन्स वी ऑल हॅव लर्न दॅट फूड स्टफ्स हॅव कॉन्स्टिट्युएंट्स दॅट आर युजफुल टू अर्स इन डिफरंट वेज मीन्स वी गेट एनर्जी from this food stuffs because it contains constituents and the constituents are what we call nutrients nutrients are carbohydrates fats proteins vitamins and minerals carbohydrates fats and proteins are called macronutrients macronutrients which are required by the body in large amount and vitamins and minerals are included in micronutrients micronutrients which are required by the body in small amounts today we will learn about macronutrients carbohydrates our main source of energy carbohydrates are obtained from cereal whole grains legumes potatoes cheese etc there are three types of carbohydrates means starch sugar and fiber i will tell you the details but before that let's do a little experiment we will see if there is starch in potatoes rice sugar and salt with the help of iodine which is yellow brown in color note the change in color of iodine as it is put on rice and potato both turn the iodine blue black put some iodine on sugar cube the color does not change salt too does not change its color starch turns blackish blue when it comes in contact with iodine so we can infer that there is starch in a potato and rice sweet potato cereals like jowar bajra wheat also contain a lot of starch another type of carbohydrate means sugars food stuffs that taste sweet contain different kinds of sugars For example we can obtain jaggery and table sugar from sugar cane because it contain a sugar called sucrose ripe fruits like mango banana chikku as also honey and milk also contain various kinds of sugars they to give us energy did you know when the starchy foods we eat are digested sugars are formed These sugars burn slowly in all parts of our body releasing energy. In other words, sugars formed by the digestion of starch act as fuel for our body. Fibers. When grain like jowar, wheat is ground into a flour, the particles in the flour are not all alike. When the flour is sifted, we find the large particle left behind on the seed. These particles are fine pieces of the skin or bran of the grain. Bran is a fibrous substance in the process of digestion. Fiber has a special function. Fibrous substances helps the food to move forward in the alimentary canal at the right speed. The undigested food is of no use to the body. Fiber helps to form stool from this undigested food. fiber is also called roughage fruits and vegetable especially their skins whole grains and pulses are all sources of fiber in the food if our body does not contain enough fiber it can lead to constipation another one macro nutrients means fats oil is a fatty substance paper becomes translucent when a fatty substance is applied to it paper becoming translucent is a sign of the presence of fats in the food stuff kept on it fats in our food also provide energy to our body 
they give twice as much energy as carbohydrates but we include a smaller quantity of these constituent in our diet cream butter ghee oil are examples of fats nuts meat egg yolk also contain fats the fats we eat get stored in our body if food is not available for some time the body can get energy from the stored fat there is a layer of fat under our skin it gives shape to the body and like a blanket also prevents loss of heat from the body the cardboard thermocol and bubble wrap protect the fragile articles even when the box is shed fall or get hit the article inside are not damaged similarly the layer of fat in the body protects our internal organs an injury from outside does not at once cause damage to our bones or other internal organs another one macronutrients means protein just as stones and bricks are the building blocks needed for a wall proteins are the building blocks of our body proteins are essential to growth and repair of muscle and other body tissues proteins are obtained from almond eggs seafood yogurt bees and pulses milk etc that's all for today in the next session we will learn about micronutrients nourishment and malnutrition see you then in the next session until then keep learning thank you